Hey, what's up world? It's Jay with the Jay Grow team of Better Homes and Gardens Select Real Estate here with four of my favorite people in the entire world. Behind the camera, we've got little brother, also known as Jay Grow. Also uh, known as Jeremy Grow. <laughs> Everybody calls him Jay Grow accidentally because it drives me nuts. his initials are JG. So yes, gotta be so annoying, isn't it, Jeremy? Oh, it's so I irritating. Know. And on the kitty table, we have Dave Macrina over on the side. You have a princess wave. We've got a princess wave. <laughs> I'm doing a different one every time. <laughs> And two of my favorite fellow foodies and winos. We've got Miss Alyssa Dibble of Utica Bread and the Taylor and the Cook. And Ms. Amanda Reinfeld of Cabo Banker Faith Properties. If you're going to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, you're going to buy through one of the two of us. Absolutely. Those are your options. Those That's are your right. only options. Mm -hmm. Now, today we are continuing our exploration of the Finger Lakes region. And what we're focusing on are some of the wines that you might not be familiar with, despite the fact that we live an hour and 40 minutes away from the region. And some of us go there with all too disturbing frequency. <laughs> so what we're looking at today and next week are two wines that might just convert some of those California red wine snobs. We're looking at some red wines that are absolutely, truly, truly uh, example, great examples of what the Finger Lakes are putting out now mm -hmm. reds. We're starting off with Red Tail Ridge's Blau Frankish. Now Blau Frankish is fun to say. Say it with me. Blau, Blau Frankish. Frankish. Not Blau Frankish. Blau Frankish? Frankly, it <laughs> should be Blau Frankish. These upstate New Yorkers. Typical. Typical. What are we going to do? Me and I drink Blau Frankish. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liz, tell us a little bit about a couple things we should know about Red Tail. What, what is cool about them? So, Red Tail Ridge, uh, the, one of the co-winemakers is uh, Nancy Ireland, and she actually just got nominated for a James Beard Award. Um, so, James Beard Award is like the Oscars of the food world. Um, so, it's a big deal. Um, I mean, yeah. it's a huge honor. They haven't chosen the winners yet, but to be even nominated is is a really big deal. So she's doing some really great stuff, um, you know, female-driven business, which is great. Um, and then this one in particular we're drinking today is obviously the Blau, Blau Frankish. Frankish. Um, so there's another name for that, and it's also Lemberger. It is virtually the same exact wine. Um, the only difference is uh, Germany is really where the Lemberger name came from, and Austria is where the Blaufrankisch came from. So um, the same grape? The same grape, and eventually someone just brought them over into the Finger Lakes. Very similar climates, so they do very well in New York State as well. They absolutely do. Amanda, tell us about your experiences with Finger Lakes Reds and wine drinkers. So I love Red Tail Ridge specifically. Um, for many reasons, but as Alyssa said, the winemaker is female, so I'm all about that, female empowerment and um, ladies doing cool things. So I'm also all about their wines because they're delicious. Uh, so I think Red Tail Ridge produces the best, not, well, one of the best. Some of the best. There's a lot of reds that I like, but one of the best reds to present to somebody who's a wine snob. So a lot of people tend to think, oh, Finger Lakes, they're all sweet, they're all white. That's they're all totally a misnomer. There's so many great reds that come out of the Finger Lakes, and this Blau Frankish, the non-vintage, really any of the vintages, are fantastic. Um, but this one specifically, I really, really love. You had so, a cool story with this one. I do, I, I do. So I love this wine just because I brought it to a gathering with a friend who is a wine snob, who's always telling me, ugh, you go to the Finger Lakes, ugh, I don't like any of that. And I've just been telling this person, like, you have no clue what you're talking about because there are some great, great wines that come out of that region. So anyway, I brought this wine to a gathering and did not tell this friend that it was from the Finger Lakes. He tried it and he was blown away. And I just love his reaction when I said, huh, that's from Seneca Lake, an hour and a half away. He just couldn't believe it, loved it. It's dry, it's red, it's dark. It's something that you would not expect uh, from the Finger Lakes if you were familiar with what they were producing mm -hmm. years ago. So it's really, um, the region has really grown and just come up with some really different things in the past few years. It truly has, it yes, truly has. What are, you, what, are you, what are you smelling on this one, ladies? Because it, it smells absolutely, I'm a Lemberger junkie, admittedly. Yes. But, Blau Frankish Lemberger. Um, a lot of black fruits, black currants, Berries. black cherries. Yes. Yeah, definitely black cherry. Definitely. And then, my favorite part. Mmm. Mmm. 
I love that when you first take a sip, mm. it's super clean on the palate, mm -hmm. but then it's tannic. Uh, as the tannins are, yes. are definitely high, and it's I nice love that at finish. the end. It's a long finish. It's a highly tannic finish. Yes. So at least for me, when you first take a sip, it like you just detect it as being clean, and then your tongue gets that dryness that you get from the tannins. So if you're a red wine, a dry red wine drinker, you kind of understand that. You love that tannin. The tannic is the is yeah. that drying effect that yeah. happens, and, and kinda, I, I love it. You kind of like play around with your tongue and it kind of sticks to there. So. Yes. Anything to add on the flavor profile we like? Mm, everything. Um, you everything. know, astringent. There's yes. a nice clean uh, mint kind of flavor. Um, mm -hmm. What would you pair this with? Red meats. Yes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Hardcore red meats. Red so this... meats, like a coffee rubbed steak Ooh, would be fantastic lovely. with this. Really, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Lamb. Yep. Oh gosh. All right, now let's Lamb. head over to the or Lamb. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. that sound good? yes. Let's head over to the kitty table and find out what Dave thinks of it. All right. So what is it? Limburger? This Limburger? is Blau not like cheese. Not Limburg. There is cheese that goes by the same name. Yes. No, it's no, no. close. It's Limburger and Lemburger. Does it smell like you Limburger? guys need like an Oscar nomination for your noses? Like I don't smell anything that you guys ever smell. Dominant what do you smell? Wine. <laughs> that works. See, I got smoke. Smoke. Okay. Definitely a little bit of smoke. Absolutely. I feel what you're saying about the thing on the on your tongue. Mm -hmm. Like tannins? Yeah. Yes, the tannins. You could definitely feel that. And something that's going on like on the outside of my tongue, like the sides. Yeah. So you're definitely getting the tannins. Good. So these guys so these guys know what they're talking about. So you can go ahead and you can pay the uh, the experts. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, highly, highly, highly recommend Red Tail Ridge. Yes. I mean, they are a must try. If you are a doubter in Finger Lakes wines whatsoever, I feel like they are that one. One of them, actually, one of the few now, there, there are several in the area now that will convert you. Mm -hmm. Yes. They so truly nice. will. If you want our list of converters, okay, let us know because we will send you Absolutely. our favorite wineries down there. So on behalf of my awesome, awesome team of ladies, are we, are we cheering? We can left. cheer. Cheers. There's not much left. <laughs> but go ahead, get the Blaufrankisch from Red Tail Ridge Wineries. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.